Hello everyone, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome back to another placement video of my channel. And I hope from the thumbnail you know that in this video I will be sharing with you the intensive data for IIT Madras MTech CSE students for the batch of 2025. Uh, so I hope you know that in IIT Madras, as soon as you join the MTech curriculum, you are eligible to apply or appear for the internships. And in my last video in this series, I have shared with you how was the uh, internship placement happening for IIT Madras in MTech in AI batch for 2025. Now in this video, I'll be sharing how was the internship happening for the MTech CSE students. So that data I'm going to gather from the students there. And in specific, I'll be sharing with you that how many students is eligible to appear for the internship, uh, how many students has already placed by now and uh, which are the companies that visit the campus, what are the roles they have offered, and what is the monthly salary um, that is being offered to these students for that particular role. So everything will be there in this particular video, and at the end, I'll be actually sharing with you the key takeaways that we are getting from IIT Madras uh, intensive statistics and how the placement will be happening for the actual placement, a kind of insight I'll be trying to give you at the end of this video. So if you're interested, if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned to this video till end. And before starting the video, as you always say, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with other people. Without further ado, let's start into today's video. Okay, so now I'll be sharing the intensive data for IIT Madras MTech CAC students uh, for the batch of 2025. So total number of applicants was 45 who is eligible to sit for uh, internship for MTech CSE. And when I am shooting this video, uh, the number of placed students for internship is approximately 90. Uh, now I'll be giving you details of all the companies that has meet the campus, what are the offers that they have given to those students for internship and what is the stipend amount. The first company is Atlassian, uh, so they are offering around uh, 1.3 lakhs monthly uh, for internship and uh, they have taken two students for software engineering intern role. Next is NV N NVIDIA, uh, so NVIDIA was offering 80,000 rupees per month for internship period. They have taken one student and the role they offered was system software engineering intern. Next is Wells Fargo, uh, so they were again offering 1.3 lakhs rupees per month for internship. Uh, they have taken one student for quant analyst. Next is uh, Nutanix. Uh, they, they, they are offering 1.4 lakhs rupees monthly for internship. So this is the highest amount uh, that is being placed by uh, any company. They have taken three students and the role they offered was interns for member of technical staff. Next is uh, Western Digital. They are offering 50,000 rupees monthly. They have taken one student for AIML engineering role. Next, Samsung Research Bangalore, they are offering 75,000 rupees monthly for internship. They, they have taken one student for development intern. Next, Bajaj Auto, they are offering 40,000 rupees per month. They have taken two students for GT intern. So I don't know the full form of GT, but yeah, I mean, it's kind of GT intern. Next is Samsung R&D Noida. So this was Samsung Research Bangalore, but this is Samsung Research Noida. They are also offering 75 rupees monthly for the internship. They have taken two. Uh, two students for R&D intern role. Next is Warner Bros uh, Discovery. So this company was offering uh, 80,000 rupees monthly for the internship. They have taken one student for software engineering intern. Next analog devices, they are offering 75,000 rupees monthly. They have taken two students for software engineering embedded, uh, for software engineer in the embedded software. Finally, Astria Private Limited, they, they are offering 50,000 rupees monthly for the internship. They have taken three students for HD intern. Now, internship is still ongoing and the news I am getting from the students is that internship will go till end of uh, second semester. That means till, till end of maybe April or uh, May of the next year. Uh, so many companies are yet to visit. As you, as you can see, there are top the big, big names are still missing uh, in the list. Uh, but yeah, I mean, there, 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 there will be many companies that will be yet to visit the campus and there is quite a, quite a, you know, long time that is left because till end of second semester means they still have around, um, you know, kind of seven, eight or nine months left. So there will be many companies that will visit the campus. And this time they're expecting the intensive season is going better than the previous batches. The data is actually showing that uh, 
you know overall students was 45 almost 20 are kind of played i mean 50% you already done so this time interest exercise is going for better than the previous batch and they're expecting that around 65 to 70% students will be able to get some intensive by end of second semester if not 100% so i personally feel that 100% will be done but the news from the students community is coming that they are expecting around 65 to 70% students will be able to get uh, some intensive by end of second semester So this is all about the data that I'm able to gather from the students they are from MTech CSE uh, at IIT Madras who have joined this year. Now, what are the key takeaways we are able to gather from these data? First of all, the, uh, there is one question that is always there that what is this type and salary? Uh, so typically for internship uh, in the summer, you'll be going to a company for two to three months, and the stipend I have mentioned here is the monthly stipend. That means monthly during your internship, we'll be getting this much amount. Uh, and as, as you can see, minimum was I think fifty thousand, and maximum was one point three or one point four uh, lakhs per month. So that is a decent amount on average. Maybe you are getting eighty thousand or ninety thousand rupees. That is quite good uh, because for M Tech, uh, the typical stipend is around twelve thousand. So this is quite high compared to that. So the, from the money perspective, from the stipend perspective, this data is really really good. Now coming to the second thing that um, you know, this whole thing that you are joining as M Tech, and from the very first day. uh you are getting the intensive uh, offers you are able to appear for the intensive in different companies this is a great thing you know i'm telling it again and again in all my videos that this is something what iit madras is doing is a great thing uh because after joining within couple of months if you are able to gather a intensive offer from these big companies then you 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 will feel a bit of relaxed because uh in the next summer your your life is set you'll be going to this company you'll be working there you'll be getting money and if you do well you may may, may get a pp offer and if you can if you can if you can able to get a pp offer in the in the from the summer internship then your whole life is secure you don't have to appear for the for the final in, uh, final placement that will happen in the december so from from the overall perspective uh, if you see from a perspective of a mtech students this is a great opportunity to do their mtech from iit madras and also on uh, the data this year as i you already mentioned in the in the slides that they are, they are also saying that this year placement intensive placement is happening better than previous years and uh, that's that's a good sign i mean uh, almost 50% students is already placed and they're expecting 72 uh, 65 to 70% but i feel that will go more because there are still 8 9 months left before the end of second semester So I feel mostly all the M Tech CSE students will be placed for internship in different companies, and that's a great thing. But I haven't seen all the students are getting placed in internship because typically internship statistics are like fifty percent, sixty percent max uh, from M Tech M Tech CSE or AI students is to get placed uh, for internship in different IITs. But this year IIT Madras is doing great thing, and I hope all the students will be placed in different companies for the internship. So yeah, I mean, from this perspective, it looks really, really good, and I hope um, in the upcoming months, when the actual placement will happen, then also IIT Madras will do great uh, for MTech CSE and MTech AI students. So yeah, that's it, guys. That's it about the video. I hope you have liked this video. So if you have liked this video, please like it and share this video to other people. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly. And let me know if you have any question or query. in the comment section of this video i'll try to answer them there you can connect with me in the linkedin you can send me mail then i can i can i can have a meeting with you if if needed so yeah that's the thing if you want to connect with me you can connect like this so that's it about this video we'll be meeting in the next video until then bye